Hello everyone. You know who this is, yet you have absolutely no idea, of course. What you are about to see and hear is George Webb Swigert admitting publicly that he was operating his motor vehicle immediately prior to law enforcement's arrival on scene. And as many of you know, George refused the breathalyzer and was summarily charged. Since George made these statements on a public forum that he knew was being broadcast and recorded, these statements that he has made do not fall under the fruit of the poisonous tree doctrine and are admissible in court. A lot of people are asking about DUI, George. I don't think it's relevant to this, but it's the frequency response. Was it a DUI or was it not a DUI? It was not. Um, I will say this. Um, uh, my car was off. Uh, the keys were in the center console. So... Um, I was trying to meet with a source. I was trying to meet with the source for the NADRA program, not NADRA specifically, but at the Joint Spectrum Center in Columbus, Ohio. Um, I, I had reason to believe I had two contacts in Zanesville. I said that when I went into Zanesville, I was meeting with one of them most of the night, the law enforcement official. The second one I was trying to meet, I had been given into, I went into the hotel. I'd been, I came back out to my car. I, I was given an indication that the person wanted me to follow them. I followed, I went, and the car, you know, it was, I was in the hunt. I was in the kind of hot pursuit of the story. I had been sending signals earlier in the day, please, let's get together. It was kind of the end of the day. It was early in the morning, actually. I went about maybe half a mile, and then I said, oh, I'm not going to drive anymore. I'm not going to chase this person. I'm going to park this car, I'm going to turn off the engine, and I'm going to put the keys in the console. So was there any breathalyzer involved? Well, I refused the breathalyzer, and the reason why I did refuse the breathalyzer was it's not relevant. I wasn't, the, what the judge told me today was, um, you are not, um, you're not, there's no law against sleeping in your car. Uh, so why did they do that? Why did they? Well, um, you know, when, I believe when the officer rolled up, you know, he basically, I rolled the window down, you know, said, you've been drinking. Um, I, you know, I'm not going to answer that question right now, but um, I do, one of the experiences I have learned from this is if you show any weaknesses, and, and that is probably my Achilles heel, right, yeah. uh, that you, they, will, they exploit, will be exploited, exploit, 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 exploit. And it just so happens it was a day before me going to Joint Spectrum Center. Now, Which was really the last piece of the puzzle. 